Hey everyone, Yen here from Devolutions. It's that time of year again. Our latest feature release is here, packed with exciting updates across the entire Devolutions ecosystem, including products like Remote Desktop Manager, Server, PAM, Hub, Gateway, and Workspace. Now our teams have been hard at work and in this video, I'll be sharing some of the biggest highlights from this release. Now, of course, there's way more than we can cover in just this one single video. So if you want the full details, check out the blogs written by our product marketing team. Links are in the description below. So let's jump right in. For those users who are currently using CyberArk, you'll be pleased to know that we now have the CyberArk secure infrastructure access for RDP and SSH available. Okay, so let's start off by launching an RDP session here, and it's gonna pass through the CyberArk SIA and everything that CyberArk offers in the back end with its security and its session recording is all there available as well, providing you with a seamless integration between RDM and CyberArk. We're pleased to announce that we now offer AI integration directly in RDM, so you can tap into your favorite AI tools, ask it questions, and get answers without ever having to leave the application. So there's two ways to do this. The first way is to add a new session type called AI Assistant, Obviously, you'll have to put in the API key and other important configurations to set it up. The AI Assistant can be launched just like any other session. So if I click on the open session, it'll pop it up in another tab there. And then I can put in my prompt and ask away. Very simple. Now, there's a second way you can do this, and that's by going to the window tab above in the ribbon, and there you can see I can click the little icon. But before I do that, I have to set the default AI tool. So if I go to my file settings and go to AI Assistant, there I could put in that similar information, the API key and which provider I wanna use. And then once that is set up, if I click the little icon up there, it'll open up in a pop-up window and I can pin it anywhere I want in RDM so it's available to be used while I'm working. To further streamline your workflow, we've integrated some more of Devolution Server's administrative functions directly into RDM. Now you can easily manage privilege access management configurations as well as gateways. So if I go here into my PAM configurations, I can see all of my various account providers here. I can even edit them and modify them if needed. And then we also offer the option to do some account discovery if you want to specify the domain control controller, you can import accounts manually through here as well. Not only can I edit the providers themselves, but I can go into the Any Identity template. This is our custom PAM providers. You can add, you can edit, you can go into the various configurations and even scripts and modify things here if needed. It just gives you a lot of options so that you don't have to exit out and go to the DVLS web app itself. You can do it all in RDM. Then back up on the ribbon, I can manage my Devolutions gateways now directly in RDM. I can see I have a couple gateways here with some live sessions. I can choose to terminate sessions individually if I'd like. Then I can also access the logs to see further information if I need to. And I can click on update if I want to update my gateway to make sure I'm running the latest version. The next functionality has to do with what we call portable licenses, and this affects Remote Desktop Manager, Devolution Server, and Devolution's Hub Business. Okay, to illustrate this point, you'll notice that I'm logged in Devolution Server with my user, Maurice Moss, and the license that he currently has, his remote connection license for RDM, is licensed through Devolution Server. So if I add a different data source, let's just pick a SQLite, something easy, and then I finalize the addition of this data source. And then no matter what data source I add, you'll notice now that my license was provided by this DVLS Maurice Moss data source, and it is now portable, available for this SQLite data source. Now, where can you configure this? Well, in Devolution Server, you simply go to the system settings, and then under the general tab there on the right hand side, you'll see license, allow portable license and mine will license it for seven days. If you're a hub business user, it's also in system settings under the RDM and companion tools tab. 
And there you can toggle portable license to allow RDM users to use their RDM licenses across data sources. Next up, we've added the ability to grant temporary access to all the connections in a folder in Devolution Server, as well as in Remote Desktop Manager. So for our example, I have a folder here called Windjammer Endpoints that has various credentials and remote connection types. And I wanna share everything here inside to a specific user temporarily. So I'm gonna go to grant temporary access, and then you'll see the entry dependencies above there, every single session and credentials there, as well as any inherited or linked entries will also be included so they can have access to those. Then I can select which action I want, execute view password or a permission set. Then I can select who I wanna send this to, this is Kelly, and give her an access duration as well as a custom message. Then I grant her access. Switching over to Kelly's account, you'll see that if I select that folder, it shows that she has temporary access until the specific time, and every entry will have the same little message there. And as well as if I go to the messages center, you'll see that she has that message from Maurice Moss giving her access to all those entries. A lot of our users have told us how much they enjoy the convenience of launching web-based sessions via the gateway. It used to open up multiple tabs in Devolution Server. Now we've consolidated that and you'll notice here when I launch, for example, this RDP session, it shows up on the left-hand side in that menu bar. So now all my live sessions are in one spot without opening up multiple browser tabs. If I launch this SSH, you'll see it appears on the left hand as well. I can easily toggle between the sessions live. For example, here I could run a ping command on this SSH and then I can switch on over to this RDP session, get some work done there come back to the SSH and continue working as well. So very convenient, very easy. I can close the sessions individually or I can terminate all of them at the same time if I wish. We know that finding resources can be a challenge sometimes, so we wanted to include the scope of where you're searching. So now you can search all your vaults, even the system vault as well. So to illustrate this, I'm gonna search for a folder called shared, which I know is in my system vault. If I look it up here, you'll see it automatically appears there and I can select it and it takes me directly there. If I want to take it further, I can go into the advanced search and specify which vaults I want to use. For example, I can select the system vault itself and exclude all other vaults. And if I want to, I can add another filter like filter by folder, and I'm gonna put contains shared. Search for it, and there we go. Very easy to find resources now, including searching in the system vault. Shifting our focus to privilege access management, we now have the ability to manage SSH keys using the new SSH key provider in our Devolutions PAM. So first, if I head on over to providers, I can add a new PAM provider called SSH key. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my appropriate information for this provider. Then I'll set up a scan configuration to be able to find those accounts. Now that it's set up, I'll go ahead and discover those accounts. Looks like we found three results. I can now select the one I want to import and then click the import button. Here I can set the folder that I want it to go into. I have a PAM vault called SSH keys to store them in. Now let's head over to Remote Desktop Manager to see it in action. So I have an SSH terminal here where I'm gonna assign it that key by selecting the privileged account and then choosing the one that we created earlier, that SSH admin user. Let's check out the account and then launch the session. And I'm also gonna put the public key here so that we can match it later on to verify that everything worked. If I hop back over to Devolution Server and I display the public key, it does match the one we just showed in RDM. So that's the new SSH key PAM provider. While on the topic of privilege access management, we now have added PAM specific permissions for privileged accounts. So if I go to Devolution Server and select a privileged account like this print admin, I can right click it and go to properties. And this is where I could set up the permissions for who has access to view and edit, delete, move and so forth. 
but I can now go to the PAM tab and select who has access to reset passwords, approve checkout requests, check out force check-in and read logs as well. So even more granular controls where you can set up by roles or by users who has access to these specific functionalities that are PAM related. Continuing now for PAM, but with Devlution's Hub, we now have the ability to scan, import, and manage privileged accounts with customizable account providers directly in Hub. So if I open up a provider here in my Devolutions Hub, I can go to the account discovery and scan for various accounts. I've found several here. I'm gonna select two of them to import and then I'll specify which PAM vault I want them to go into. Then once the two accounts have been imported, I can go to that PAM vault and I can see here my two hosts. I can check the heartbeat status as well as reset the password. So that's PAM, providers, privilege accounts, password resets, all in your Devolutions Hub account. In Devolutions Hub now, there's no need to manually run entry expiration or password analyzer reports. You can schedule them and have the results automatically emailed to a member of your team. To set this up, you need to go to reports and then scheduled reports. Here you can add a scheduled report and I'm gonna select the password analyzer. We'll have it sent to our admin, Maurice Moss, and put a title as well as a start date and the recurrence. Then you can filter some specific options and even include entries with no passwords if you would like. Now, once it's saved, the hub reporting service will go ahead and take care of sending that email out every week and you're good to go. Earlier in the video, we touched on managing your gateways from a remote desktop manager, but we also wanted to showcase it in Devolution Server. Now you can see that I have three gateways running and two of them are outdated. So I wanna update those. So selecting bulk update and choosing the individual gateways, I can choose to update them now. Take maybe a few minutes or so to get it all done. But once they are finished, all of them will be updated and I can see how much storage is left on them as well as other pertinent information about the gateways. Continuing with Gateway, we've added something called Session Shadowing, which helps you monitor and assist active sessions instantly with Live View. So to illustrate this, we'll have a user open up an RDP session using the Gateway, and we'll run a PowerShell script here that gives us the elapsed time. So you'll notice that the time is counting up. If I switch on over to another user, let's say it's an admin, and he opens up that session live, he can actually see it. It's being recorded and published live at the same time. Switching back to the original user, let's say I move the window to show an action, you'll see that my administrator who is monitoring will also see and reflect the actions that were just taken on the other RDP session. A great way to maintain seamless connectivity, even if one of your gateways goes down for whatever reason, is to set up an alternate gateway. You don't have to have a full gateway farm. I'll be showing this in Remote Desktop Manager. So if I go to the RDP session in question that uses the gateway, I can go to the properties and go to the VPN tunnel gateway options. And then I can go to the settings. And there you can see that I currently use the Windows gateway, but I can also set up an alternate gateway like my Linux gateway and have it running just in case my Windows gateway goes down. I hit update and that's all I need to do. Moving on to the Workspace desktop application, you now have the ability to automatically input credentials throughout your system using entry auto type. To configure this, go to the settings section in your workspace and scroll all the way down and you'll see this global auto type command. I'm going to go ahead and put some properties, username, tab, password as my default here. 
While I'm here, I'm also going to make note of that quick access hotkey above, which for me, it's Alt Control Shift Space so that I can quickly access the credential and paste it where I want. Now, the one I'm gonna use is this shared account here. I can then open up an application like Notepad, for example, and do that hotkey combination to bring up the quick access, then find the account that I want, and then press auto type, and it will automatically put in the username and password directly into the application. And finally, we're gonna take a look at Workspace, the browser extension. Now we have support for Apple's Safari browser. So here it's pretty simple. I just have to make sure I have Workspace installed first. And then when I go into Safari itself and I go into the extensions, you'll see I have Devolutions Workspace there already. And I have to just check the little box to enable it. I may also have to set certain permissions and allow them to read websites. Now, for the first time, I just need to connect to a space. So I'm gonna use Devolution Server. I'll have to authenticate with it as well. And then when I go back to the browser extension, I can select which vaults I want to synchronize. And then from there, I can choose a specific entry. For example, let's choose a Devolutions account. Then when I reach the website, I can select which credentials I want to insert there and the username and the password. And then that's it. So there we have it, the browser extension finally for Safari. Well, that's a wrap on all of our latest feature release. So thanks for joining me on this tour of all things Devolutions. And if you haven't already, be sure to download or update to the latest versions. To take full advantage of these powerful enhancements for yourself. Once again, for more details, check out those What's New blogs linked below. If this video was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more updates, and drop any questions in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.